Father, thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. All glory and praises to you, Father. Miracles and miracles, supernatural miracles. One more day you added to glory for the kingdom of God, Father in heaven. Father, you are revealing the hidden secret. My son and daughter, you will no more be impatient. And you will act with understanding and you will say what you mean. Any kind of a threats, any kind of a warning, any kind of revealing the truth in that, going further in the purpose, wherever you are being stuck today, you will go much more faster than ever before. I am releasing the blessings, how I release the blessings on Paul. His conscience was clear. I blessed him. I settled his past with peace. Same blessings will shower. I will stand as I stood with Paul. You are saying, my father, and you are revealing the hidden secret, how one should be. Stepping forward attitude, how you will stand, my father. All praises and glory to you, Lord. Stuti ka namahi me. Yala ninge na pa nadaratu na Yesu naamu dalliya. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Even and heart will pass away. Lord words will never pass away. Matthew 24 verses 35. Brother and sister. Many times sinners will warn. <clears throat> Arrogant people will warn. Many times individual person will be in a sinful path. This is different. I am talking about those who are already righteous, who are already in the purpose, who are already receiving one after other the miracles, testimonial through them. And through them, many miracles happen. Those times also, Lord Spirit will say, trouble, what will happen? And also, God chosen ones also will tell, when they are going forward in your purpose, will be a trouble. And also, prophets also will say, what will happen? Consequences, brother and sister. If anyone is there in that kind of a situation and circumstances, how Paul conducted, if you and me conduct, we will be blessed and restored, brother and sister. Jesus is leaving God. You trust once. Whatever is in the store of the Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Creator, Everything is yours and mine. For that, me and you should be the shepherd of the church of God. We should never allow heart breaking of us. God's grace will build you up and give you the blessings, troubles, warnings. will not be part of your life, even if it is there, it will be diffused before it starts also. Your worst fears will never come true, brother and sister. For all these things, we should have a clear conscience. That means, wherever we have sinned, we should confess we are a sinners. And where Lord has blessed and encountered yourself with the Lord Almighty, from that day on, you should never repeat the sin and you should only glory for the kingdom of God. Then brother and sister, these blessings will shower on you. These miracles will happen in your life. Wherever you are stuck, you will go further. Wherever you are finding it difficult, from there you will step forward. Do not give up brother and sister. Situations, circumstances will come. Righteous people only will tell in the spirit that henceforth if you go there you will face the trouble. Don't give up. God chosen children only will say if you are going further you will meet with the danger. Don't give up. For that you should be on a purpose. You should be on a call. You should live life to give the life to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That attitude should be that Paul had that brother and sister. And scripture says, Isaiah 32 verses 4 and 18. Isaiah 32 verses 4 and 18. They will not be impatient any longer, but they will act with understanding and will say what they mean. 
God's people will be free from worries and their homes peaceful and safe. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 32 verses 4 and 18 they will not be impatient any longer even if they listen discouragement. Even if they say in the Lord name only if they say also still they will proclaim their intention and thoughts and right time Lord will take over that purpose. They will act with understanding and will say what they mean. God's people will be free from the worries and their homes peaceful and safe. Brother and sister Paul in a journey wherever he is to go Lord is to warn. Holy Spirit is to say Holy Spirit will always is to say Paul if you go to this place prison and troubles are there even then Paul is to go to glory for the kingdom of God in his mind always he has said I risk in my own life be worth nothing to me I only want to complete my mission and finish the work what God has given me spreading the good news of God's grace of God he has fixed in his file end of the earth I will go I will proclaim the word of God who has not heard about it brother and sister every time when he is going he was going with that with all the humility and many people who insults even then he was going through with endurance I gave he gave a Solomon warning to should not sin and commanded them not to go in the wrong path. God's people will be free from worries when they say what is truth and when they say they should not repeat the sin. Brother and sister, Paul was heading like that. All the time he was, conscience was clear, he was. Paul was telling, I was a sinner, Lord encountered. Lord told me, why are you prosecuting? And Jesus is a living God. Jesus is a Messiah. Good news, he said, keep on. Paul preached, taught in public, obedience to Holy Spirit. Impatient will never be there. And brother and sister, when Paul from Ephesus to, he went to Caesarea, from the Caesarea, when he went to Jerusalem, in the Caesarea, God believers in the power of God, they will say, there is a danger if you go to Jerusalem. And brother and sister, again continuation, wherein the seven helpers, one was Philip in that house. A prophet comes, Agabus, and he wears the belt and ties to the feet and says, who is the owner of this belt? He will be tied and hand over to the Gentiles. Many will say, don't go. They will plead Peter not to, Paul to not to go to Jerusalem. Brother and sister, God's believer in the power of Holy Spirit only, they said there is a danger. A prophet is telling, don't go. You will be hand over and put in the prison by the Gentiles. And he was call, calling was to tell you and me only the good news, brother and sister, how Paul spoke, how Paul conducted if you and me in our life with all the respect. Paul, looking forward Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he was not impatient. He was not impatient. And what he was speaking, it was uh, understanding was there. And worries was near there. And he was peaceful in his mind, heart and thought. And brother and sister, this is how Paul spoke. If you and me speak like this, we will be blessed and restored. And scripture says, Acts 21 verses 12 and 13. Acts 21 verses 12 and 13. When we heard this, we and the others begged Paul not to go to Jerusalem. But he answered, What are you doing, crying like this and breaking my heart? I am ready not only to be tied up in Jerusalem, but even to die there for the sake of the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brother and sister, all kind of emotions are there. 
Holy Spirit always says for Paul, prison is there, trouble is there. But even then, Paul is to go forward. Paul knows in the trouble or a prison, in all the places Jesus are there, when Jesus is there, everything is possible. Many who don't have a faith, when they listen to the trouble, they give up. They will give up. Oh, I am not used to for this. How can I be like this? No, it is not my cup of tea. They will give up. That is where many are eligible to become a CEO of an organization, but mindset is not there. Many are work to create an organization, but they don't have the mindset. Many wants to take care of their family, but limited understanding. Many wants to construct the house. They can't think the duplex house. A big house because mindset. You are all working for to glory for the kingdom of God. Dedicate that house. Dedicate your job. Dedicate your organization to glory for the kingdom of God. Tell how Lord restored. You will be blessed, brother and sister. Paul said, Don't break my heart. Don't break my heart. What are you doing? Crying like this? Breaking my heart? I am ready not only to tie tied up in the Jerusalem but also to die for the sake of Lord Almighty brother and sister what scripture says is Isaiah 32 verses 4 and 18 they will not be impatient any longer but they will act with understanding and will say what they mean God's people will be free from worries and their homes will be peace and peaceful and safe all these qualities and grace and mercy was there with Paul because Paul was a shepherd to the church of God. Never a Lord, hard to break. Brother and sister, he was willing to go further, whatever the consequences, but there also I will preach the word of God. Even if you are in the darkness, even if you are seeing the death, you will come back to the life, brother and sister. Power of Spirit and Holy Spirit will abide to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You step forward. And when Paul went to Jerusalem, he was being tied and put him in the prison. But Lord, brother and sister, how Paul spoke to the council and what Lord did the miracles will do in your life also. Step forward. Don't give up. Enlarge your mind thinking. Your mindset. Biggest failure in this universe when you are not trying it again to enlarge your mind it is only one way be within peace do will of a God and be holy miracles will happen your clear, clear conscience will be there this is how Paul spoke to the whole council scripture says Acts 23 verses 1 and 11 Acts 23 verses 1 and 11 Paul looked straight at the council and said my fellow Israelites, my conscience is perfectly clear about the way in which I have lived before God to this very day. That night, the Lord stood by Paul and said, Don't be afraid. You have given your witness for me here in Jerusalem, and you must also do the same in Rome. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Clear conscience, he says. Paul looked straight at the council and said, My fellow Israelites, my conscience is perfectly clear about the way which I have lived. In his past, Lord has settled with the peace. The presence, Lord was doing unusual miracles. Even believers with the power of Holy Spirit, when they said there is a trouble, a prophet said they will be tied and put in the prison. Everything happened, but no one said Jesus will rescue. Jesus will rescue you, brother and sister. Settle your past with the peace. Come back to Jesus Christ and submit yourself. Today, now, unusual miracles in your life, it will happen. Paul's confidence, Lord will bless you. And publicly accepting that sin, Lord will bless you. And your enemies will be disappointed seeing your growth. And brother and sister, when all this happened, that night... That night, Lord stood by the pole and said, Don't be afraid. You have given your witness for me here in Jerusalem. When Paul said, This life 
even it means death i will happily give it to the lord and he said lord said you are given you are given your testimonial here step forward you will also have to give to him many hurdles one encouragement that jesus himself spoke to brother apostle paul don't be afraid you have given your witness for me here in jerusalem and you must also do the same in rome and everything happened brother and sister let the division comes in any way you unite in the name of lord jesus christ focus on the purpose step forward be holy in all aspects of life be with peace because lord himself is telling you will be no more impatient and you will have an understanding what you say there will be a meaning and you you have no more worries in your life and you will be peaceful and safe then step forward like paul brother and sister don't give up your was fear is not ever come true nor apostle paul's fear came true or others fear came true brother and sister all praises to you father all glory to you lord mighty miracles will shower on each and every one lord with a clear conscience with the holiness my father all praises and glory to you lord stuti gana mahime ella ningena pa nadarthane isu namadalli amen amen praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord